Hey everyone, everything is fun in the golden yellow sun. Yes, indeed. And welcome back to this week's session of Wednesday Wisdom. This week we'll be talking about something which uh, I have experienced a lot, which a lot of people have told me to do many times, but no matter how hard I tried, it never worked. And this is something which is so commonly experienced by everyone. Um, and so I thought that I should share a little tip, a little technique that I found on how to cope with it and how to make it even better or how to achieve it. And that is consistency. I know, I know. Ever heard of the saying, consistency is the key? The key to what, you may be asking. And the answer to that is pretty simple, success. Now, success is a very subjective term. It can mean different things to different people. But at the end of the day, success is something that you want to achieve, right? And you can only get there if you have mastered consistency. But I'll give you a little, little secret right here. It's very hard to master, like really hard, especially if you make this mistake. The mistake is being very ambitious about your habits, about the things that you want to do on a daily basis, but then not being able to sustain them. Now, let me, let me, let me kind of break this down here, all right? I am never against being ambitious. No, rather that is, that is kind of like my motto, right? Be ambitious, dream big, because only if you dream big will you be able to achieve big, right? So why is being ambitious in this scenario a bad thing? Well, I'll tell you why, right? When you make a goal, right? Uh, let's say your goal is, I don't know, um, to become healthier or, or let's say to have clear skin, right? In order for that, you have to maintain a healthy diet. You have to exercise. Let's just say, so you, you have the main goal, you've broken it down to two places, right? So you said have a healthy diet and then exercise. Now for those two things, you have to further break it down into action plans. So what can you do on a day-to-day -day basis to make sure that you have a healthy diet and that you regularly exercise? So an action plan for a healthy diet could be, I don't know, uh, only two cheap meals a week and eating a lot of fruits and veggies, right? On a daily basis. And then for exercise, it could be, I don't know, working out 30 minutes a day or having a different change in your activity so you don't get bored, but you're still physically active. As an example, right? Now, if I said I further break down those action points because I have to give them metrics, otherwise I know they're not gonna happen, right? So let's take exercising, for example, because this is the one thing everybody struggles with at least in sustaining it. Let's say you want to, I don't know, exercise for 30 minutes a day, but you set yourself this horrid plan, right? It, it's, it's, it's horrid because it involves, it, it's just mentally draining when you look at that list of exercises that you have to do, right? And so it kind of also is like, you're not giving yourself a rest period in between, maybe a day where you switch your activity. It's just that same workout again and again and again and again, right? At max, you can only do it for a week, maybe a week and a half. I'll bet to see how much longer you go, right? It's not very sustainable. Now, the example I gave probably wasn't the best, but, but it's like you're not a very athletic person or you're not someone who has been working out regularly and all of a sudden you just push to these exercises, right? So how long will you be able to stay, sustain that without, I don't know, getting a potential injury or without your body just indirectly telling you in different ways to please stop or please go easier on me and build rather than building it up to achieving that level of strength or that level of fitness you just straight away jump to it and that is not a good idea so being ambitious in this case having these really horrid exercises which you probably wouldn't be able to achieve for a very long period of time at the start is not a good idea because it ends up or it ends, you end up rather, with less self-confidence and more of many plans, many ambitious things which never really worked out. But that's not how we should function. That's, that's not how it should be like, right? So how can we fix it? Simple. If you start small, it'll be sustainable. What does sustainable mean? basically the ability to sustain something for a longer period of time, to keep going, to not stop, to be consistent, right? That's how you master consistency in any, in any and every aspect of life, really. So if we start small, it basically makes lasting change easy, right? So how can we start small? First of all, let's look at what we should not rely on, and that is motivation. Now, be, me being a motivational speaker, saying that motivation is something you should not rely on is 
kind of ironic, but I'll, I'll tell you what I mean by that, all right? And that doesn't mean you stop watching my videos. That's, that's not what I mean. Just keep listening to me, all right? Motivation can be a great thing. It is so fantastic, and it is just the thing you need to really to fuel you up. It's, it's that kind of drive that you get, right? But motivation can sometimes, usually, it's short-lived. Right? That motivation comes in, like, gets you feeling really amazing, like, yeah, I can do this, yeah, I can take on that workout for a week. Then the motivation leaves you, your body ends up aching, and you say, I cannot do this. So, either you don't rely on that, that, that motivation which keeps coming and going, it's really unpredictable, or you find ways to get regular streams of motivation. That could be with your friends, you know, that could be like, hey girl, you got this, or we got your back, or maybe rather than doing the workout alone, you do it with them, because that's motivation. It's showing up for them, it's them showing up for you, alongside also showing up for yourself. It's like following certain people on Instagram who <laughs> regularly post motivational content that can help you on your path to success, right? That who, people who really understand you with certain niches, so you know that if you're ever feeling a bad day, obviously you're bound to go to social media. So when you open that app, you should see something which will help you rather than something which will make you feel worse, right? So if you have to go about using motivation as a source, I'd say do it like that. But don't rely on that unpredictable bursts of motivation. Now, number two, when we're creating new habits, how to really sustain them so they're not just short-lived, but there's something that become a part of our daily routine, because that's what habits are, right? They don't start off as habits, they start off something we need to do, but over time they should become involuntary actions. Something that we wake up and like, we know we have to go there, we know we have to get up and you just reach for your gym clothes and you put them on, right? Rather than thinking about, ah, should I, should I not? So that's basically what habits are, right? So how can we make them like that? Well, it's simple, I read a book and, and this book basically said, it gave this example of flossing. Now, not all of us floss our teeth. If my dentist is watching, I'll be straight up honest with you, I don't floss them either. Uh, not looking forward to our next appointment. But um, that's not the point. The point is that how can I make flossing a habit, right? When you brush your teeth, everybody brushes their teeth, some more than others, some three times a day, some two times a day, but you brush your teeth, right? So when you go to brush your teeth, first of all, make sure you keep the floss right next to the brush, right? It's like a little reminder and that way you won't forget. Secondly, tie it to the habit. You know that you are bound to get up after every meal or before breakfast, you will get up and you will brush. So if the floss is there, then it sneakily makes, its, it, it, it ties itself to that one habit. So you brush, that's your habit, that's your daily thing, you've been doing it for as long as you can remember it. Oh, there's a floss there too. You've, you've already reached the sink. You're, all, you're already there, right? You've already put the brush down. Might as well pick up the floss and just floss one tooth at a time. It's as simple as that. So if you tie these new habits that you want to create to existing habits already, you'll find that it becomes much easier because it's like, oh, I'm already here, right? So might as well just do something else. And lastly, but this is definitely not the least, this is something you should keep in mind, one of the most important parts, is rewarding yourself. If you've done a good job, then, well, give yourself a pat on the back. And if a pat on the back isn't that rewarding, then, then what is equivalent to that little pat on the back for you? And then do that, right? It's like, okay, you're eating really healthy all throughout the week, say six days a week, and you're on this, you're, you're working out every day, and you're making good progress. Maybe for that one week, for that, sorry, not the one week, for the one day of the week, allow yourself to have maybe one or two cheat meals. Because you're working hard, right? So how can you make sure that you sustain it is by telling yourself you've done a good job. Either you let your friends be in charge of that, or maybe your family, because you know they'll be in charge of that, or you could let yourself be in charge of that. And trust me, that is not something you will forget, because it's something you'll be looking forward to the entire week. It's like, okay, if I eat healthy and if I work out the whole week through, I can treat myself to a burger, or I can treat myself to, I don't know, uh, an ice cream, right? And don't go too overboard on that, because again, we have to make sure that it's not ruining the whole week's progress. But something small, something nice, which will make you feel good about what you're doing, and it will motivate you to do even better. Again, that's another way of linking that motivation to something more regular than those unpredictable bursts. So, three things that I mentioned today. I really hope you understood them and I hope that you will implement them into your day-to-day -day life. They will be very helpful. If you ever forget them, you can always just come back to this video. So save it, share it with your friends. 
Thank you so much for joining. See you next week. Bye.